If you're in the market for an automatic watch at a very reasonable price with a very unique design, then look no further. Forge & Foster is a watch brand from London. They've been making watches since 2017 and they're known for their one-of-a-kind watch designs that you don't see with any other watch brands. They reached out to me and they're kind enough to send me one of their watches. So in this video, I'm going to be giving my honest review on the Forge & Foster watch and hopefully this video helps out anyone who's looking to buy a watch from them. So let's get started. Let's start off with an unboxing. This is the box that the watch comes in. Very simple and minimalistic logo, which I really like. Let's take a look inside now. Oh wow, this is a 42mm Maven X Evoke automatic watch. It retails for $269. First impression, this is a beautiful watch. This is a skeleton design, so you'll be able to see the movement at the face of the watch. I've always loved staring at watch movements. It really is an art when done well. And this is my first skeleton watch, so it's safe to say that I'm a big fan of how it looks. It's time for some watch ASMR. I'm gonna peel off the plastic at the front cover. and on the back as well. So moving on with dimensions, case diameter is 42 millimeters, thickness is 12 millimeters, lug to lug is 51 millimeters, lug width is about 30 millimeters, and it comes in weighing at 121 grams. So this watch features a 316L stainless steel case. This type of material has less carbon than your standard 316, which means it can handle high temperature and corrosion a lot better. You see this type of material used in marine applications, so you know this case is going to be durable. This watch also features a sapphire crystal glass, which is a huge, huge, huge plus. The case has a brushed finish at the front, sides, and back. The brushing is done very well with very even strokes throughout the whole case. The edges are chamfered with a polished finish to give it a bit of a contrast and the crown is also polished finished. For the dial, this is a skeleton dial just like a nice GTR with a transparent hood showing off its engine. A skeleton watch offers the equivalent to that which is showing off its movement. This is a PTS skeleton automatic movement, it has 21 joules with 21,600 beats per hour. In my opinion, 21,000 beats per hour is a nice sweet spot for watches because compared to higher beat watches, the service intervals will be longer, which means there are gonna be less beats per hour over the lifetime of this watch. So the components take a lot less abuse compared to higher beat watches. So from a cost standpoint, you'll definitely get more of your money's worth from a lower beat watch like this one. It also has 21 jewels, and from doing a quick glance, I can tell these are ruby, which gives it a nice subtle hint of color. So along with it being an automatic watch, you can manually power the watch by turning the crown clockwise about 20 to 25 times to get the power reserve that you want. You'll get up to 41 hours for the power reserve. So this is your standard push-pull crown. To adjust the time, just pull it out once and rotate the crown and once your time is set push the crown back in and that's it super easy and straightforward so let's take a look at the back of the watch of course this is a see-through case bag just like the front the back is also made of sapphire crystal so the engraving on the case back says 21 joules automatic movement it's rated for five atmospheric pressure so you can wash dishes or water your grass with this but i wouldn't recommend a swimming or even showering with this on you see a nice black rotor to match the overall color scheme of the watch far too often you see watch brands like invicta throw in a lime green rotor just for the hell of it but any crazy colors especially for a watch with such a bold design like this, it'll most likely look too overwhelming. So Ford and Foster did a great job keeping the color scheme not only simple, but classy. So moving on to the strap, this comes with an FKM rubber strap, which is very strong and also very supple, so easily conform to the shape of your wrist. I have to admit, it is very comfortable, even more comfortable than your standard leather straps. One thing to point out is that it does not have quick release, so if you want to replace the straps, you need to undo 
the two screws on both ends. The strap has these extrusions to help lock in one of the loops so it doesn't wobble around all day, which is a nice touch. The buckle has a nice brushed finish with his logo engraved on it. So let's do a quick loom test on this. I'm gonna shine a flashlight on it for five minutes and I'll show you guys how it looks after. So this is how it looks after five minutes of shining a flashlight on it. It doesn't look bad at all. You notice that the minute and hour hand shines the brightest compared to the hour indicators. First impression, I noticed it wasn't loom on the second hand, but it's not bad at all. The hours and the minute hand shines the brightest, so that's what really matters the most. So this is how it looks after 90 seconds. It's faded a good amount, but the hour and minute hand is still going strong. So overall, I'm impressed with this. So let's move on to the fit. For reference, my wrist is six and three quarter inches, which is pretty thin for guys. So I would need to adjust the straps all the way at the very last hole to get my fit, but overall, it fits great. The rubber straps are really comfortable. I'm honestly a big fan of the straps. I think the 42 millimeter watch face looks great on my wrist. It's not too big or too small. 42 millimeters is definitely a versatile size for a wide range of wrist sizes. Taking a look at the side view, the case sits nicely along my wrist. It's not too straight and it's also not overly thick as well. Overall, I love the design as watch. It fits great on my wrist and it's very, very comfortable. Thanks again, Fortune Foster, for sponsoring this video and sending me one of your watches. I definitely recommend you guys to check out the website. They have a lot of great designs, so I'm confident that you'll find something that you'll like. Also, if you do decide to purchase from them, don't forget to use my discount code in the description below so you can save some money off your next order. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.